start recording on this segment of the walk only because I have to cross the intersection of death. All the intersections in BGC, I, you know, I, I have more trouble with cars and pedestrians in BGC than I do anywhere else in Philippines. I don't know why, but there's really only one intersection that I use regularly that's a real dangerous pita pain in the ass and I have to go across it pretty much everywhere I go. And I have learned painfully, literally painfully, that it behooves you to record every crossing, whether it's on a phone or a camera or DSLR, doesn't matter, record every damn crossing. Because you're probably going to have a close call on a regular basis. And a lot of times when some car has been acting like a jackass, I just hold the camera up, let them see that they're being recorded, and they'll instantly stop it. Uh, in the U.S., they'd probably just hit you anyway and give you the finger and roar off. But at least here they can be stopped. Usually, almost always, at least 95% with the camera. They don't want to be photographed doing heinous shit. So, I record more and more and more of where I go, but especially, always, without fail, this intersection that's coming up, because it's a bad one. It's a really, really bad one. What the hell is going on over there? Okay, they got a little boombox. That's the kids from outside BGC come in here with their boombox. That's what you find everywhere else in the Philippines. Yeah, in America, whatever, but not normally in BGC. So these little groups of uh, guys will drift around BGC and they'll find little spots where there aren't any guards. And that's where they hang out, have their little parties and shit like that. Eventually, the guards will find them and, and route them. But it could take a while. They're, they're usually not too obnoxious, not like you would find in the U.S. So, you know, I mean, they're, when I go by, they're polite, they nod, they wave, smile. Some of them see the camera and they want to mug for the camera, you know. They're, they're decent kids, they're just, they're kids and they're from outside the hood. Okay, there's the intersection of death coming up. Traffic is not too bad, so let's see. I don't think it'll be too bad. Uh, it might, it might, yeah, it might. No, no, we're going to breeze on through it. Holy shit. That was luck. That was just dumbass luck. The surface that I'm walking on here, this tile, I had uh, three or four different pairs of shoes when I first came here. And the tile here, at least in BGC, probably, well, no, no, I know for a fact everywhere, people, uh, family have gone with me. And, and walked on these tiles and fallen on their ass, cracked their skulls. So they use the super slippery tile here in Philippines. And I almost went down probably 20, 30 times on this stretch right here. And I've seen people go down and I've gone down other places. And uh, what I finally did was research non-slip restaurant workers shoes. Bought a pair of those for cheap money. Absolutely comfortable. I walk five to ten miles a day in them. 
and you can't make them slip on that surface. So, here's the corner where that little kitty was that I explained earlier. God, I feel bad for that little shit. He was, he had nothing left to give life. Crossing that street with my help was probably the last thing he ever did. Something got him. But nobody comes around there. Nobody would have picked him up. He would have walked out. Trying to go back where he was. The car would have got him positively guaranteed. And somebody scooped him up, put him in the dumpster. God, that's, that stuff is hard for me. I'm sorry, it's hard. 